Well, day after of uh, planting, you see the planter sitting here. Looked in here and the chain was off that it wanted to have trouble lifting this planter. <laughs> and I'd get out at the end of the row and couldn't lift it. I had. Yeah, I heard that. Hey, everybody. Soybean farmer. Totally amazed by this. The box was like tore all to pieces. It, that's how it was tore up. Well, this is what we're calling the depth band. It bolts onto the side of the uh, disc opener. Praise God. Right there they are. They're still in it. This is one of them things where you, you're going to stick this bolt through this hole and then try to find this down here. I can kind of sort of see it. I think that's it, let's see. It's my fancy ratchet wrench. You know, I think I'm going to have to go get a real ratchet in a socket. That might have hit it. Can I hold that? Okay. I'd like to thank somebody named Gary for responding to the leading to provide me with some information. And they actually sent me the PDF file containing the, um, I think it was called the owner's manual for the Yetter uh, 71 Flex Planner. This one out here that I'm messing with is all rusted up and it's got, it's get, tonight it's got its third heavy dose of PB Blaster on it. Um, nothing eight moves. inches height on that toolbar. It ain't got nothing to do with planning depth like I thought. Uh, so you're setting up a relationship for how the planner unit flexes out behind the toolbar when you achieve this height. Once that height is set, then the settings down here on these parts labeled uh, A and B uh, can actually be achieved. I want to thank Gary again for providing me with this documentation. Thank you for just doing it. Thank you. From the information that's been made available to me, I have found out how you actually adjust or where you adjust for seed depth. <coughs> and it's this right here is where you adjust it. Uh, read in a couple of forums about, you know, if you got the Yetter brand new, you just take this piece right here and you pull and you see it's got the piece here and the piece here. They would have to slide freely. And once you pull this out, then you can take this piece and rotate it into the position you want and get back in one of these holes to lock it in position. Well, I'll give you a close-up shot if that'll focus. You see the rust on that? There was no way I was going to pull and turn. <laughs> it won't happen. Since I totally did not understand this, I mean, not, I was clueless. I didn't have a clue. Um, I didn't know what to do. So I prayed and asked God, and he said to take that bolt out. That bolt's what's holding it in. And I looked at it carefully to make sure this planter was not going to fly all to pieces when I took this bolt out and realized, no, it wasn't. It was just going to let me take this piece off. And bring this piece up here to the vise and I'll show you what it takes to get them apart. Take this screwdriver, one of my beater screwdrivers, and you tap gently here. And you put it over here. There we 
we go. All right, that's what it took to get it off. And this is just as rusted up as to where you can't see that's in the dark. It's just as rusted as the other ones. Well, the day after of uh, planting, you see the planter sitting here. I did get real happy about uh, getting all of these in the correct adjustment. That one got a new roll pin. Got it at Napa. And uh, they're all the same now. And I was actually getting the seed planted exactly the depth I wanted. Real excited about it. And then I stopped to check how seed was going. Uh, and all from here down was using seed. And this one was way behind. Uh, so, looked in here and the chain was off. I started keeping a real direct eye on that and I could not keep that chain on. So, over here with Cousin, there he is over there. I told him what was going on and he knows more than I do about it. So, he went in there and fixed it. There was a piece in there that... Uh, was hanging up. Hold on, cousin's gonna give us a narration of what he fixed in there. He just, I mean, I don't understand this thing. This here was coming up to that little rubber, that little plastic thing. Can you see the little plastic thing? Yeah. All right, and what was happening is, is it was coming up here and getting hung on it. And plus it, it was uh, dry, it needed some oil. See how it just kind of hung up like a, you know, a, like your, the gun stuff? But don't do that no more. And so what I done is I took a hammer and, and got that boy on up in there so it wouldn't um, get, in, get in his way. And then I put oil on both sides to get it to where he would be happy. So that explains to me something else to keep an eye on on this planter. Now the next issue, because it seems like Satan pulled an army out yesterday and went into overtime. My little Ford tractor decided that it wanted to have trouble lifting this planter <laughs> and i'd get out at the end of the row and couldn't lift it i had yeah i heard that <laughs> and so between the frustration of not being able to keep this chain on i just got totally frustrated with it and brought it over here and parked it and went and got the grain drill i was going to finish it with the grain drill but it was eight o'clock and i was exhausted and i'd had all sorts of health issues and i just walked away from it told cousin what's going on game plan now since we help each other is he's getting that 1020 gonna bring it over here and hook it to this we just went back over to my shelter and got the seed and cousin's gonna take 1020 and go out there and finish one of the corners i think there's enough seed to finish it and maybe i can get some video of him doing that for me but anyhow at least i've got a good understanding of how this how to set up the depth on this planter. And they are all set identical now. So I'm, I'm real happy with the way the, the depth's going in. And I did end up with at least one depth band on each unit. So, we're gonna go back to plant. Everybody, thanks for hanging in there with me. <laughs>